The small batch projects are pretty much like our favorite part about the business. If we could do it every day, we probably would. It's just like where we could kind of take our creativity and bring it to life. It's what drew us into this whole industry to begin with, you know, because we were always coming up with these crazy concepts and ideas, and like we just enjoy the whole process of figuring out the logistics with the packaging and the design and the bottles and sourcing everything and then, you know, bringing it all together, creating a product, and then it's a real thing you can touch and people want to buy. Especially this product in particular, Laugh the Creeper, it has a lot of cool concepts about it, like the aftershave is barrel aged. So what we do is we buy a perfumer's alcohol, we put it in a whiskey barrel for a year, and then we take it out, it comes a lot of oak tannins, this is a vanilla aspect to it, and it's really good. The most important thing is the lavender itself, the fragrance of it, you're gonna be wearing it. Uh, it's at a 10% concentration, which is very high for an aftershave. It smells delicious. Uh, it does smell good. It's made from three different kinds of uh, lavender, uh, and the one that we do make here is French lavender. We take all the hydrosol, which is the water that's mixed with the essential oil that never separates, and we use that as the water portion for the aftershave. You put it all together, and then we add a cooling agent that uh, Wilkins and Sword developed in like the 70s that's super cold, lasts longer than menthol, doesn't smell like mint, doesn't make your eyes burn. The overall feeling after you put this stuff on your face is like, it's unbelievable.